Salt lowers freezing point. Have you ever wondered why people pour salt on icy sidewalks to make the snow melt? Usually, the result is a big pile of slush made of melted snow and ice crystals. And why do the lakes and streams freeze over solid while the ocean always remains flowing? Is there something magical about salt? Are there other uses of salt other than flavoring our food and raising our blood pressure? Let's try this experiment and see for ourselves. Materials required are two paper cups, salt, water, ice cubes. Procedure. Take two cups of water. Place about a tablespoon of salt in one of the cups. Place both cups in the freezer. Check each cup about every 10 minutes. You can notice that the cup of water without salt freezes first. Now take two ice cubes out of the freezer. Place the ice cubes on separate plates and sprinkle salt on one ice cube. Which ice cube will melt first? The ice cube with salt will melt first. What is happening? Salt lowers the freezing point of water. Freezing point is the temperature at which a liquid becomes a solid. Increased pressure usually raises the freezing point. Normally, water freezes when the temperature reaches about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius. When salt is mixed with water, this freezing point is lowered. Salty water will freeze, but the temperature has to be colder than it would be for normal water. How much colder? That depends upon how much salt you put in the water. The more salt you add, the colder it must get before the water freezes.